Good morning, world. Hello, everyone, everywhere. Pastor Robert Thibodeau here with another session of prayer 2021 for today, which is June 12th. Our scripture reading for today comes from James chapter 5, verse 16. Therefore, confess your sins to each other and pray to each other so that you may be healed. The prayer of a righteous person is powerful and effective. Let's go to the Lord with a word of prayer. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for the ability to pray to the Most High God, knowing that our prayers are answered in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you for the privilege of being in the body of Christ, and we thank you this day for the opportunity to, to study your word together, to gather together around your word as we dive deeper into prayer and how that can affect our life, our family's life, our future, and this world. And Father, we give you honor and glory and praise in the name of Jesus. Amen and amen. Now, I want to look at some of the things that the Apostle Paul has taught us about the Holy Spirit and about prayer. He said many, many, many things about prayer. And we've covered some of the things he taught in, in some of our, our prior teachings, okay? But I want to focus the next couple of sessions on what Paul taught us about the Holy Spirit's help in prayer. Amen? Let's begin by looking at Romans chapter 8, verse 26 and 27. In the same way, the Spirit helps us in our weakness. We do not know what we ought to pray for, but the Spirit himself intercedes for us through wordless groans. And he who searches our hearts knows the mind of the Spirit, because the Spirit intercedes for God's people in accordance with God's will. Well, Paul is saying something here, really, that Jesus never, never talked about in the Gospels. Really, go check it out yourself. Amen? He is teaching us about the Holy Spirit helping us to pray. Amen? Jesus taught on many principles of prayer. He taught uh, you know, about two or more agreeing together and how that amplifies the power of prayer. He talked about the prayer of faith that we discussed around Mark 11, 23, and 24. But Jesus never taught his disciples while he was here in his earthly ministry about the Holy Spirit would help them in prayer. As Paul is sharing with us in Romans 8, 26, Jesus never taught about prayer, about praying in or in the about praying in the Holy Spirit, let's say that way, praying in tongues. Jesus never talked about that. Why? Well, the main reason is because the people he was talking to did not yet have the Pentecostal experience of being filled with the Holy Spirit themselves. They did not have any idea of what speaking in other tongues could even mean. Uh, do you want to see an example of what I mean? Okay. In John chapter 11, verse 33, we know the story about Lazarus and how, how Jesus was late, basically late to the funeral, right? But the reason is because he wanted to demonstrate he had the power over death. But their unbelief was getting to him. And verse 33 says, When Jesus therefore saw their weeping, and the Jews also weeping which came with her, he groaned in the spirit and was troubled. Here, not just Brother Bob, but a lot of ministry scholars, I guess you could say, believed he was speaking in tongues. They had no idea what it was. He was probably praying in tongues more or less what we would refer to as under his breath. Okay, Think about this. Because you know they didn't know what he was saying. He knew they didn't know what he was saying. So he, was, he wasn't going on a, a deep, deep, praying in tongues session for the next 45 minutes or anything like that. He was just gathering the power because it all belonged to him. He was just gathering that power to use in this situation right now to overcome all of the unbelief that was happening around him. Ah, uh, Don't shut me down when I'm preaching good. Glory to God. How did I come to that conclusion? Because the disciples had no idea what he said. They called it a groaning. He, they didn't understand speaking in tongues. Now, if he'd have done that, you know, six months later or whatever it was, you know, for after Pentecost and he was still around, somebody there could have probably interpreted it. Praise God, okay? But 
They had no idea what it was, so they, they could only describe it as a groaning, something that came from deep within him. Amen? But what happened after he did that? He simply asked, where have you put them? The decision had been made. He knew what he was going to do now. And he was going to do something that only God could do. Amen? That's what praying in the Holy Ghost can do for you. You can bring the power of God on the scene in an instant. The Holy Spirit can sweep in and knock any demon out that's been bothering you. But you are the one that has to believe it. You are the one who has to understand it. You are the one who has to take action. And you are the one who needs to pray in the Holy Spirit to bring him on the scene. Praise God. I want to pray for you right now that you're getting this, that, that you are starting to understand the power of praying in other tongues and what this will do for your prayer life. Amen. Let's pray. Father, by the power and the authority of the name of Jesus, we come this day to your throne of grace and of mercy to obtain mercy find help in our time of need. And Father, by the Holy Spirit, we yield ourselves to you. We ask you, Father, someone someday, someone somewhere this day would receive the infilling of the Holy Spirit with evidence of speaking in tongues, understanding and knowing that the power of God is contained in the Word of God. The Word of God is Jesus. And he has sent the Comforter to us to dwell in us, to fill us with the Holy Spirit. And Father, I pray that, that the listener right now today would be able to speak in a heavenly language that no one else, not even the devil, could understand. Only the Holy Spirit, you, Jesus, and this person. Now, that's for their private prayer life. But Father, we thank you that their private prayer life starts climbing higher and higher and higher and higher. Their faith increasing each and every day that they put this into practice. And soon, the power of God would be us on the scene and they would be doing works for you that are greater works than Jesus was ever able to do here on this earth as we previously studied. To you, Father, we give this honor and glory and praise in the name of Jesus. Amen. Glory to God. Mm, I felt the power of God in that prayer. I, mm, receive it in Jesus' name. Amen. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. I got them holy goose bumps right now all over me. Praise God. Holy ghost bumps. Mm, 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 mm. I want to get up and shout and dance around this room right now, but kind of tied to the microphone. Okay. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Do me a favor. Can you leave a comment rating down below? Uh, I'd appreciate it. Jump over on iTunes, leave a rating review there. Be sure to visit our website, podcastforchrist.com and download that free resource, how to launch your Christian podcast. All right. Till next time, let's pass the Bible. Remind you again from 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 17, the Living Bible to always keep on praying. Be blessed, folks. We'll talk to you again tomorrow.